Welcome to Eventbrite.com. In this tutorial video, we'll show you how you can create a new event using Eventbrite.com. If you're new to our service, visit our homepage at www.eventbrite.com. Once you're there, click the Get Started button. On the next page, you'll enter your email address and a password, then click Continue. If you already have an Eventbrite account, you can log into your account and click the Create a New Event Now button. On the first page of the event creation process, you'll enter the event details about your event. Start with the event name, then indicate when the event will start and when the event will end. Next, in the Where section, you'll indicate where your event is happening. Then you'll include the name and description of your organization. This will appear under the Hosted By section of your event registration page. Next, you'll describe your event. This area reads HTML, so you can include customized font, pictures, and links. In the Options section, you can indicate whether you'd like your Eventbrite registration page to appear in the Eventbrite public directory and on the Internet. This is great because we help you promote your event by sending your event registration page out to all the major search engines as well as event listing sites. You can also password protect your event registration page. This means that only those with the password will be able to sign up for your event. And last but not least, you can create a personalized event URL. We highly recommend this because this is an easy way for people to find your event online. After you're finished entering your event details, you can either preview your event page as it is now or click continue. The next step in creating your new event is to create ticket types. This is for attendees to sign up and or pay for your event. First, you'll enter the ticket type title. Then you'll enter the ticket price. Then you'll enter the quantity available of this ticket type. Next, you'll indicate when you'd like this ticket type sale to end. Next, you can click on View Optional Features. The first optional feature is how you'd like to handle the Eventbrite service fee. You have two choices here. You can either add the Eventbrite fee on top of the ticket price, which means the attendee will pay the ticket price plus the Eventbrite fee, or you can include the Eventbrite fee into the total ticket price, which means you'll absorb the fee and the attendee will only see the ticket price and not the Eventbrite fee. The next option is for donations. Now we'll cover this in the donation ticket type tutorial video, but quickly, donations are if you'd like to create a donation ticket type, which means instead of a set ticket price, there will be a blank text field on the registration page and your attendees can decide how much they'd like to donate to your organization. The next two options are minimum tickets per order and maximum tickets per order. This is if you'd like to limit the quantity of each ticket order. Let's say you'd want everybody to order at least one ticket, but not more than three tickets. You can enter one here and three here. The next option is the ticket type description. This is if you'd like to include more information about your ticket type on the registration page. The final optional feature is to indicate a start sales date and time. After you've entered all the information for your ticket types and you've chosen some optional features, click Add Ticket Type. After you've saved at least one paid ticket type, you'll notice a Payment Options box appears on the next screen. This is to indicate how you'd like to collect money for your event. We offer several different options. The first option is to collect money using a PayPal account. You'll need a business or premier PayPal account to collect money. However, your attendees will not need a PayPal account to pay you. The next option is to accept Google Checkout payments. The next option is to accept offline payments. We offer three options. You can accept pay with check payments, pay at the door payments, 
or send an invoice payments. You'll also want to indicate if you'd like to have an event capacity. This is useful if you have more than one ticket type, but you have a set event capacity. You can also indicate your event currency here. You can choose from 16 different currencies. It's possible to enter more than one ticket type. After you're done entering all of your ticket types, you can either preview your page, save your event page, or move on to the next step, which is customizing your event registration page. This next step is for customizing your event registration page logo and colors. Over here you'll find different sections of the event registration page with their corresponding colors. Now you can choose from the color picker here or you can enter your own hex values if you have customized colors. You can also upload a logo to the event registration page. This image will appear in the upper right hand corner of your event registration page. We've gone ahead and selected a logo from our desktop and we'll hit upload now. You can see that the image appears in the upper right hand corner of the event registration page. Once you've completed the customization of your event registration page, you can either save your page to work on later or select publish. We're going to go ahead and publish this page. Congratulations, you've just created your first event with Eventbrite. On this confirmation page, you'll see your personalized event URL that you can distribute to potential attendees. You'll also see the methods of payment that you've selected. We're collecting money using PayPal. And there's some other options that you can choose from on this screen. You can send invitations for your event. You can go to your account. You can also set up an event survey, which is highly recommended. We're going to go ahead and go to our account now. This concludes our creating a new event tutorial. As you can see on your event dashboard page using the Quick Actions menu, there are many, many more tools for you to use to manage and promote your event. We hope you'll take a look at the other tutorials that we've offered going through each of these features. Thanks for using Eventbrite.